Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Fast API. Today we are going to learn about the assessing the form data in the Fast API. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share, and comment on my video. Let's get started. So whenever we have a form data, so like like login form, register form, when I try to submit the data, I want to get the, all the requests. So there is a plugin or there is a package that we have to install that is Python multipart. Okay, so let's try to install this Python part first. So here we go to the terminal and let's add this package, install it, and now you can just reload it. Okay, and let's try to paste the code, whatever we have written from this one. Okay, so just copy this, I think. The next one is different one. Okay, so let's paste this and uh, here you can see that word wrap this. So we have the from the fast API, we are using we are importing the fast API, fast API, and the form. Okay, so here we have a initialization route handler for handling the post request that is submit form. Got it? Now we are expecting the username, okay, to be a string and the form. And the password should be a string to be a form. Assess the form data using the form parameters, right? Fast API automatically parses and validates the form data. You can use the form data as needed, such as validating credentials, saving to the databases. Okay. For demonstration purpose, let's just print the form data, whatever we are sending. Okay. And at the return response that the form data submitted with the username. So we are returning. Let's have a look. We we'll go to the Swagger documentation. And here we have the submit form. Okay. So username, password, both are required. Let's try it out. So username, I will put this and the password will, let's add this. Okay execute this and here you can see that the form submitted successfully and username you get it so how you are getting this one username and the password like this okay so this is how you can assess the data form data any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video in the next video what we are going to learn let's have a look that is how to upload the file using the fast api and save to the directory okay so don't miss this video thank you so much have a great day and don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day